name's Matt and I own several scooters. And one of the things that I've learned over the years is this, all of a sudden I'm driving and it cuts off. What happened? It, you could have just charged the battery and you aren't on it one minute, two minutes, five minutes, maybe 10 minutes and the screen goes blank and you're just scratching your head and you're just so upset. You go online, no one will tell you what the problem is. I'm gonna tell you how to fix it. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. Here's what's going on. On your modern day scooters, they have a mechanism. If your motor heats up, it automatically shuts it down. And you're gonna say, Matt, I haven't been on the scooter for two minutes and it shut down. I'm gonna explain why that safety mechanism is shutting off. Your battery has a certain amount of volts. Depending on the rider, okay, I weigh 250 pounds. When I'm riding my scooter, it takes more volts from the battery to propel that motor. If the battery is damaged, if the battery is old, if the battery is compromised, there's not enough volts to push that motor and it automatically goes into what's called safety. It just turns it off. This is a brand new scooter. This has an eight amp battery in it. I can ride this scooter indefinitely, upgrades, downgrades. It's only a, an eight amp battery, okay? But the battery is good. It has plenty of volts. This is a 12 amp battery. It's brand new. It has a bigger engine on it or motor, but I can't even ride it for two minutes because when I go to ride it, there's not enough volts, meaning the battery has been compromised. There's something wrong with it. As you ride your scooter and the battery gets older, you're gonna lose volts over time. When you don't have enough volts for that motor, it automatically turns off because it goes into a safety mechanism. It's a battery issue. A lot of people, what they do is they test the battery. Matt, the battery's fine, but they don't test the volts. Modern day scooters are now coming with a volt meter. If you don't have enough volts, okay, to propel the motor, it's going to turn off. What other factors come into play? If you're heavy, okay? Meaning you've gone through the drive-through a few times. If you're heavy, it takes more volts to move that motor, and so it automatically goes into safety because what? You have a compromised battery. Now watch this very carefully. Let's say you're going up a steep incline. Going up a hill or an incline, guess what? What does it take? You knew it, it takes more volts. And as you stress that motor, if you have a compromised battery, it just shuts off. Let's say you're driving three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, or let's say you can't even turn the thing on. It's a volts problem, meaning it's a battery issue. You don't have enough volts to what? Move it. My son, this won't go even one minute with me on it. Why? They sent me a brand new scooter with a shoddy lithium ion battery. I mean, it's 12 amps, but it's, it's garbage because the volts are so low. My son, which only weighs about 140 pounds wet, can get on this and drive all day long. Yet, I'm still under the weight limit by 40 pounds. So what's the deal? When he's on it, it's not pulling as many volts as it does with me, or it's not pulling as many volts as if I was going up a hill. Do you understand? So what it is, is a bad battery. They've sold you a scooter with a bad battery, or you've ridden that scooter forever, and now it's time to replace the battery. Everything is volts when it comes to the scooter because of the safety mechanisms, okay? If it doesn't have enough volts from the battery to the motor, it just shuts off to save your scooter. One, look at this. This one isn't, listen, this is $800. It's not even three weeks old. They sent it with a bad battery and that's what happens when you get a lot of this stuff from China. Let's go over here. This one, it's on, it works, okay? It has nothing to do with my size because watch this. I mean, I was driving this. This only has an eight amp battery. Guys, this little scooter here has an eight amp battery, but guess what it has? It has plenty of volts. It may not last as long as a 12 amp battery, but it has all the volts that the motor needs to propel me, whether it's up a hill, down a hill, and I can go up to nine miles on this. I'm supposed to be able to go 40 miles on this, but I can't even go a block on this. I hope this has helped you out. First thing I would do, 
is I would check the volts on your battery. When they come up low, just try to exchange the battery out or get a new battery. Don't go buying all these parts for your scooter, okay? I was knocking my head against a wall up until I talked to an electrician who explained the safety, who explained the volts, who explained all the different things that takes place in these scooters. Scooters okay? are awesome but they're finicky. They're really finicky. And now that I understand it, I'm like, that makes total sense. I hope this helped you out. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. And guys, stay on the road, baby, between the lines.